Jen Style definitely needs some help, and that's why I'm here. The first thing I'm gonna do is go through Jen's closet, assess what she has, see what needs tailoring, see what needs to be donated, see how many looks I can put together with just the basics. So what do you think your ideal style is? I wanna be like rock and roll kind of mom. Show me a sassy top. Oh, the, well, Show me sassy. Okay, it's not sassy, but this shows Oh, this my, is very sexy. You know. But the shape is all cocoon shape. You keep buying these difficult silhouettes that make you look like a bubble, and I think you're super hot, and I think you're super curvy, and you're not playing it up. I'm concerned about it being so bubbly. Oh, you're right, it's another thing that's <laughs> right, right, so right. once you tuck it into your pants, you're creating another muffin top because it's, it's oh. literally shaped like a balloon. It's a parachute top. Okay. Right? Yeah. So we want to create some shape. Okay. We don't want you to look like a big bubble. So we're going to work towards that. Okay. You're thinking about this super dressy, right? Yeah. And I don't want you to. I want you to think about it super fun. Look how blue and this color looks so gorgeous. And then play it with some boots. So wow. chic. I never would have put that together. All my jeans seem to be tapered. And I don't know if it's the most flattering thing for my body type. If you want your thighs to seem smaller, you don't want to kind of create, or this creates oh. like, this is like, Why look at my thighs. You want to go for a jean that's more solid. Okay. Yeah, I, I would love to see you do more of a higher waisted jean. Does this cut tend to cut you? Because this is yeah, low in the front, so it gives you that, yeah, a lot that of muffin. Them are. Those are a little too big. Yeah. <laughs> Donate! I know that I need to move past flats. Yeah, because you know what happens with the feet if you spend too much time in a flat? They become, they start to spread and just become, they oh. conform to like that life. Every now and then just put them in a heel and just yeah, break them in with a pair of socks. So oh. you break them in and it won't get blisters. Then you spray your foot with deodorant and it keeps it from rubbing. I'm really happy that you have this black riding boot. That's really awesome. I feel, I feel like you can too use tall. One more. If you can walk yeah. around in these, you really need the height because it'll elongate you. I want you to have that moment where you're just like feeling tall and like a supermodel. Here's a perfect example of something you can reimagine. It's a classic basic sweater. You wear this run out the door day, right? Now I'm gonna make you uncomfortable. You get the phone call, you have to go to dinner. Oh my God, you have to look sexy for your husband. What do you do? That simple. That's simple. Cinch the waist, but don't you feel like automatically more glamorous? I don't do. you feel like it's from the day to night? It's not that hard, not that hard. We're gonna take this mom okay. and make her a little bit more tough, a little bit more of that rock star, zhuzh the sleeves. When it comes to layering, feel free to take things out of context and give it a new voice. Like pairing that rugged boot with that soft, flowy dress. It makes you feel kind of a little tough and sweet all at the same time. I yeah. love it. I don't know if I have the nerve, but I'm gonna try No, it. please do. I will, okay. So it's hard for people to step outside of their comfort zone naturally, but as soon as you get that first compliment, that's when everything changes. We took your army pants that you were so like not really excited about, and we brought the party to the army, which I love. <laughs> I'm not used to big, chunky necklaces and bracelets, even though I had these. I just don't know how to wear them. There really is no wrong answers with accessories. Like, don't be afraid. Okay. Play with it. Wear this necklace with a t-shirt. Wear it with like the simplest things. But also wear it with okay. something that's like flashy like this. I was just about to donate this. No! I love this dress. It's so classic. Okay. It's so chic. So I'm going to pin this and we're going to have it tailored to fit your body. You don't have to give up on certain pieces. You can get a lot of life out of ta with tailoring pieces, especially how we fluctuate as women. That's gorgeous. Just the fact that I'm able to get a little bit of June's magic today is so exciting. I cannot wait to get you for a few more pieces to round out this wardrobe. She's going to have even more fabulous outfits. Yes, I'm I love into you. it. I love you too. But just streamlining it. Like we right. had this one dress that was so big on her because it had a drawstring, she thought, I don't need to tailor it. And once we took all the Excess Extra fabric. fabric out. It was gorgeous. It, and it makes made her a look huge thinner. difference. Huge. It really does. It really does. And I love how you mix it high and low for her. How you put some jewelry on with something super comfy. Yeah, but she had and super familiar. She wasn't dressing her personality. That's like, right. She has a big personality. She's funny, but she was playing it safe because she's like, I'm a mom, and my kids are gonna make fun of me. And how you know, if I step us out of this box, right? Then she's afraid of what would come after. But I think she discovered Good herself. Good stuff comes after. Oh yeah, we, we, we really discovered us. She wants a longer leg, yeah. so we gave her a longer leg. And this jean, the boot cut, gave from hip to ankle ratio. Pretty. It evened her out, so it gave her a longer, leaner look. And then, you know, so it's not like squeezing her or pinching her, and it's a long rise. <laughs>